So, uh, this is Kavita Sharan Diddi. She's an assistant professor of Career Development Center in the SRM University, Katangulatur campus, Chennai, with a background in psychology. She attended the introductory USP workshop in the month of September 2022 and USP 2 in March 2023. She's an active volunteer in the SRM USP cell and also the USP coordinator for engineering technology domain and the department coordinator as well. Recently, she is uh, uh, included in the Tamil translation team. And she also uh, exercises other, other activities like uh, participation PPI in the last, and she also participates in the last uh, two morning sessions. So with this, I welcome Kavita Sri Sharanthidi for her sharing in the morning session. Didi, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thanks for the introduction. Good morning um, uh, to all. Good morning, uh, Sharmila Didi. So as uh, Bhaiya has already introduced me, so I'm from the SRM University, from the Career Development Center, and uh, where our major role is to empower students in their personal and professional life. And this has been that the role that I'm playing. So, and I got greatly driven by the UHP content and the methodology, and that is what is what uh, attracted me towards this. To start with my personal life, if I have to go ahead and give a little bit of brief, my husband is a businessman and uh, both my children are advocates. And also that I'm happy to say that my mom and my mother-in-law, both of them stay with us. So we are six people together. And my motive of choosing this career is majorly to make a difference in people's lives. And having that in my mind, I've been attending a lot of uh, like personality development programs and things that are going, that are uh, that would help us in empowering. Uh, but uh, the uh, methodology that I found in this, which is a self exploration, I found that to be highly potential. So that was what I mean was is my driving force into the UHP content. And I've been associated with this for the last uh, one, one and a half years. And it is so that even for the last, uh, my uh, morning sessions, I was there in the seventh batch as well as right now I'm there. So having this as my background, I am right now connected towards the uh, UHV uh, content. And I'm also a part of all the other activities that are happening. And so this has been like a beautiful journey that I am uh, going forward. And I find this to be highly potential and highly commendable. So let me now start with the exercises, the exercise one. So observing uh, the self by the self. So I have right now started keenly observing myself in every situation and each and every moment. And this has actually started giving me a deeper understanding of myself. And I'm unable to understand that my imaginations are continuous. And as well as I understand that some of the time, like it is more on my preconditioning and my, and I'm sensationally driven. To, uh, to explain more about this, you know, like um, I, I will have to tell me a little bit about myself that I have been a, an individual who always keep accepting things of whatever somebody says because my major objective is I should I should be good to others as well as I should not go ahead and hurt other people. So having this in my mind, I always start working on this and inside there is a lot of reactions that has been happening. My expression part is something that I don't go ahead and express this to outside. But internally, there is a lot of reactions that happen. And, in, and uh, finally, it is something that I feel hurt very badly most of the times. And this is something, you know, like this disturbance is something, is, some, is something which shows on my behavior as well. And what is happening is over the last few, that is the last four months, majorly in the last four months after being connected with the morning uh, sessions i found that the uh, i've slowly developed an understanding and i'm slowly trying to go and overcome this 
and I'm slowly trying to go ahead and say that I'm the one who is deciding upon the these things. So I have to take a control over this and I will have to go ahead and work on this. So when I'm stable within myself and I have the uh, feeling of stability within myself, then the assertiveness will develop in my communication. I was aware of all these things earlier, but the morning sessions have helped me to access my natural acceptance before and after taking any of the decisions. So once I access my natural acceptance, I'm sure that the decision that I take is going to be something that is going to be in relationship with people and that is not going to be in disharmony and that is going to be really nurturing and nourishing. So now I'm really thankful to the inner tool which I have you know, identified and which can be accessed at any time, at any situation, okay, wherever I am and whichever situation I'm in. So I'm able to feel that, you know, like I'm able to see that feeling of relationship and with the feeling of relationship, I will be able to go and share my thoughts and views. So I, I used to have a doubt that if I'm going to go ahead and share things, probably I would be, go, I would be wrong or I would be in a position, I would be uh, like, I would be uh, hurting another person. So all these things used to go and crowd my thoughts. So now I'm slowly, slowly able to understand that if I bring that stability within me, I would be able to go ahead and put across. And the feeling part is more important. I was more working on my expression part. I now understand that I have to go and work on my feeling part. Another example is to do with this exercise is with my dealing with my children. I used to get more worried about my children at times like the way that they behave and all those things and I keep telling them and advising them many things many times and keep telling them that they don't respect my feelings and they are not bothered about this and I I used to put up a great show in front of them by crying and all these things and I sulk a lot in between but these days I am able to understand that there has been an, uh, a shift in my behavior I'm not getting irritated with their behavior. And even so, it is only for a very short duration. Instead, I start giving them statements uh, that are self-explorative. So my irritation part has gone down. I used to get so irritated when, my, when, my, when I go and open up my daughter's uh, wardrobe and I get into my daughter's room. It is something that I used to get so irritated because... It's so clumsy and it's so disorganized and all those things. But uh, these days, I find that earlier it used to be like I go, I, I tell myself that I have to control myself. I have to really not go ahead and shout and all those things. I used to, I used to work in that mechanism. Uh, starting like when I've started into the UHV, I used to feel that I need to control and control. Now I feel that I don't have to control over there. When I have the feeling of relationship of the, I don't feel, I don't get irritated. So with the feeling of relationship, definitely I would be able to go and put across. So recently that when I happened to go and tell my daughter, I used to, I mean, I have to remind my daughter that you need to clean my, clean your wardrobe. It's really clumsy. So when initially when I used to go and say that, it, the tone used to be different. Because I used to be in a, in a contradiction with her. But right now, like I see that my, I have worked on my, uh, when I see the feeling part, there is a change in my tone. And as well, like even now that she hasn't changed, uh, you know, like uh, she doesn't go up and do things immediately. She gives me a time, Ma, please give me some time. I'll do that. Okay. Earlier when she used to say that, I used to jump out into a lot of other emotions. But now I, I am able to see that I don't, there's no reaction or that thing that is happening within me. And I give some space to her. I've given space to her. And two days back, I told her like, okay, now what we'll do is you try to go and settle one part. Okay. And I try to go and settle the other part. She even said, Ma, I'll definitely do it this weekend. You don't do it because uh, you, don't, uh, you don't know like the way I use up the things. It's better that I go and settle up things so that I know where, which, where, which things are. So even though like, uh, uh, even if she hasn't, I mean, if she has made a small amount of 
or there was a change in her voice but i was able to observe that that i did not get irritated inside right so i was staying a little cool and little subtle and i'm giving that space so this is something that i have tried to go and observe my my myself in these days i feel that the decision that i take is something really really important and it's me who is going to take the decision and when i have the feeling of relationship yes with the feeling of relationship i am able to put across my feelings to the other person in a better way and to more add to add to this uh, like uh, my uh, relationship with my husband me and my husband we have been having a good relationship in the sense like there are a lot of sharings that happen these days there is lot of sharing that has been happening with the uhv content as sarika didi this said you know like initially it was i happened to see that my husband was giving more of importance to the body uh, body part of the sensations now in our disc this uh, discussions there are lot you know like longer discussions that have happened and there is an everyday discussion which happened to be when some of the explorations and he has also started exploring a lot and with that feeling of relatedness you know like i'm 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 unable to use uh, uh, convey the uh, uh, the feelings in words the discussions that happen it's really that it's put me into a state of bliss i would say because the 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 discussions are really enriching and empowering that is happening within us and he also has started telling that he's able to see a shift in my approaches and he's able to see a lot of clarity and confidence in my conversations so i am able to have the feeling of comfort within myself most of the time and observing this every moment initially i was not able to have this comfort with whom whomsoever i speak right so i uh, i mean i used to work on the expression part and now i've started working on the feeling part which is like the reinforcement always within me and i understand that there is a lot of long way to go a glimpse of this itself is giving so much of happiness and i have a long way to travel so even in my workplace i see that lot of gossips that happen and i have questioned times with uh, sunil bhaiya and i also asked questions in to uh, sometimes with sharmila didi that the work gossip is something puts me down something that i i i tend to feel that why are people not understanding each other and all those things initially when the start of uhv journey but now now i try to i mean earlier i try to go and escape out of these of the conversations i try to put myself away from all these and these things used to happen but now i am there a part of it but i don't get involved in that but i just put to say that some people are sick and we have to go and help them out the people who are sick i just give the statement and immediately there is like others also say that yeah i am able to see that so i am able to see that you know like the also in my conversations and people around me my colleagues have also said that there has happened to be a shift in the way i am dealing with things so and to talk about you know like the nature part i have not been given i have not given much of an importance to about the nature and other things but slowly slowly i have a feeling right now that i used to feel that i can take up things in the nature so now i have a feel that i am a part of the nature so it is that i have the feeling towards it relatedness towards it and my behavior towards the nature should also be that more that i am related towards the nature so having all this in mind like i would say that i am able to observe most of the steps in the exercise one probably a little bit on the coexistence thing is i will have to venture out and i will have to explore a little more on this so i quickly move upon to the exercise uh, two uh, can i have that slide bhaiya yes so i am in line that um, uh, body is an instrument and the self gives the direction and 
the i mean and i'm the one who is giving the meanings meaning to the sensations that are happening around okay so everything is the meaning that i give give and myself is the one which is a, has a major responsibility to take care of the body and it is my ho i mean it, it is my it is me who has to give the proper uh, uh, instructions and it is the me it is i who is who is interpreting things and i the self has a major responsibility i have a uh, crave towards like you know like the fried foods and all that so i happen to observe that the fried foods which i have craved i am able to go and give a i mean a favorable feeling like right? like the things which i don't like much you know like i go ahead and say that no it's not good for my body but the things that i have liking you know i always go ahead and like maybe i feel like no it's okay i can go and relax upon this i can go i i i like this so i can go and eat oh, oh i mean though i know that it's not going to nurture my body so slowly i am observing that but i still have to little bit work on that most those sensation part because i'm understanding that i'm i i can i give a particular meaning to the favorable sensations and i give a different meaning to my unfavorable sensations so the program that i've chosen is to take a proper intake and exercise my body and regulate all those things uh, regulation part like to check on my breathing to check on my poses because it is my responsibility to take care of my body and my body is something a machine and i need to give the proper fuel towards the body so i can share this with a short ex uh, with a short experience like uh, we had this mdp program for the deans and directors i always felt that i cannot sit for long 3 hours on the floor but i gave the instruction towards the body with i was the person who gave the instruction and i was able to sit through for long hours for 8 to 9 hours and i was able to also stay back for the interactions with the with uh, with uh, kumar bhaiya and i was there in the team for nearly at uh, i mean i haven't stayed in my college for 8 and 9 o'clock i used to come home a little late so i was the one you know like who was giving that feeling and the sensation towards my body and i told myself that i will stay long i informed the people at home that i will be a little late earlier to wait like i will i had a lot of i used to work in the circle of concern you know with the people around so now i am able to work with the with the feeling part so getting aware of this you know like i am able to feel that there is lot of things that is happening around me and happening within me now a lot of things are happening around me which i have not i've stopped giving much of an importance or like my importance is something like in what ways can i go and help out people around and uh, the lot of things that are happening within me is something that i am finding out and that i am exploring i have started also observing my sanskars that were you know which that were a driving force which were stopping me from doing certain things and which were also uh, pushing me to do certain things i get to know that a lot of things i need to go and unfold so i am and, and whatever that i see some of the sanskar i find that some of the things are superficial and i do have certain deep rooted sanskars i have also listed my sanskars it's going to take time if i'm going to read out more of my sanskars and all those things so i feel that i have more greater responsibility to work on that and when my sanskars are on the base of the assumptions you know i feel that i work on my preconditioning and those are my sensations and i react over there and when it is based on the natural acceptance i try to go and respond over there right and my uh, the uh, the uh, space part i do know that i am in coexistence in the space a little bit is there and the body is in coexistence in space but i just have to go ahead and more explore on that i have not gone ahead and explored more so because i have been working on myself part i have find that there is lot to work and even a little bit of part i am working i find that it is it is giving so much of uh, my uh, happiness within even i find that certain understandings over the things and uh, yes 
So this is what is like, I can continue with more of my uh, examples and things like I have, but due to the paucity, I understand that I need to respect the time over there. So due to the paucity of time, I would right now go to my commitment part, right? So regarding my commitment, yes, to the other statements, happiness is my innate nature. And I've less started reacting to the outside. I've, I have started re responding to things rather than reacting to things. And that is my, my program in this journey. So my commitment part, regarding my commitment, I am the UHV coordinator for the engineering and technology and um, uh, division. And as uh, uh, Baya has already said, and one more thing is, uh, I, I was, I'm really happy to share that our vice chancellor is more encouraging and conducting the UHV workshops and other UHV related activity. So I'm very happy that I'm associated with the university, which is also helping out. I'm a part of the core committee, regularly conducting the weekly meetings and volunteering in all the uh, UHV activities that are happening in the campus. And today we are, happening, we are also having the last day of the AICT funded UHV program which is happening, the face-to-face -face UHV2. And I'm an active member over there. And I'm almost regular in all the morning meetings. And uh, if time permits also, I'm also a part of the week, uh, the uh, weekend meetings as well. I'm spending more of my time with my colleagues and exploring this content, which gives immense pleasure and happiness. I listen to the videos and read the content related to this. Uh, there are many a times that I get confused or there is a confusion and I understand that whenever there's a confusion, there's a learning that is happening in some of my explorations and I'm keeping things open. I'm consciously making all my efforts and understand that it will take time for me to get more clarifications. I get when I, I the clarifications that I get when I explore are like puzzles, like I still want more clarity and I'm ready to be in the upcoming morning sessions and being a part of the volunteering team. And with this, my greatest gratitude to Sharmila Didi for giving me this clarity. And it's always nice to hear your uh, sessions in the mornings, which I have got habituated. And I also understand that getting habituated to things is, is only a dependence. So my, and my heart is heartfelt thanks to Sunil Bhaya, who has also been a part of this, to Supraja Didi and all other co-explorers who were instrumental in my journey. So thank you all and namaste to all. Thank you so much. And now I'm ready to, to answer to your questions and to the inputs from Sharmila Didi. Thank you all. Ji, thank you, Didi. Thank you so much for this exemplified sharing. A lot of activities are happening at the SRM University, and there is a conducive environment in the campus also. That is what we also uh, could feel. Very nice, Didi. Ji, Ji, very nice sharing, Didi. Very honest, and all uh, you are doing so a lot to work. Uh, Didi, a small question I'm having. You told you are working a lot, and you are working for volunteering and, and getting happiness and getting happy. So my small question is working um, for getting happiness or being happy and doing work? <laughs> no, working. No, no, no. Working is when I get more understanding about this, definitely I understand that I'm going to go. And that's good. That's what is the innate nature. Gee. I wasn't work. I wasn't giving uh, my, I wasn't having much of an understanding on some of the things. So when I didn't have that understanding, it was something that I was perturbed and I was uh, disturbed within me. So when I'm trying to go and release out that disturbance that were happening in me, I am in a state of, which is in a state of happiness. So I, 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 I mean, the understanding part is there are a lot of confusions which is happening. Uh, there are a lot of uh, explorations which I have to. So I'm trying yes, to unless and until you are happy, you cannot do work. I, I yes, hope. Yes, okay, Didi. Yes. So you. those things yeah. I'm trying to go and release it out. So as yeah. I have a better because I need to have that stability within me. So yeah. as I will be able to also go and have an understanding over there. Okay. Thank you, Didi. Thanks a lot. Keep it up. Very nice exploration. Dhaniwad, Didi. Namaste, Saviko. Yeah. Thank you, Priya. Shamla Didi, over to you for the comments.
जी नमस्ते कविता जी नमस्ते दीदी वंडरफुल टू हियर योर शेयरिंग एंड ऑल द एक्टिविटीज दैट यू आर टेकिंग पार्ट इन आई थिंक दिस इज अ नेचुरल प्रोग्रेशन दैट वी टॉक ऑफ दैट एज वी अंडरस्टैंड मोर एंड मोर इट इज जस्ट यू नो द शेयरिंग विद अदर्स कम्स वेरी नेचुरली एंड इन द फ्लो एंड यू हैव एग्जेम्पलीफाइड दैट वेरी ब्यूटिफुली and i think uh, this is the second time that you are attending the morning session is it yes didi very nice so in this short span of time you are able to um, observe yourself observe the feeling observe when you are comfortable uncomfortable and you have been able to honestly and sincerely share um you know the changes in your behavior that you have noticed and of course as the exploration continues it will go deeper and deeper and uh, you know all the very best to you for that um, thank you didi it is really commendable that you are able to devote so much of time to the volunteering activities and i think that is one major reason also uh, your progression this rapid progression um being with a background of psychology you may be interested in work on psychology and work on health that we may be doing you know that we are doing um, so yes. some activities related to that and maybe i will get in touch with you later today and we can talk sure. about that sure didi so, sure the very best to you thank you didi thank you so much i'm really thankful to all who are there because uh, it's the four months of time has become like it's been very fast to me i i'm able to observe that and it's because of the volunteering activities as you rightly said didi i got involved in the last four months into a lot of the activities earlier i was a part of it but then i i i mean i used to give reasons like i have a family i have six people with me i need to take care i have people of different generations because we i have uh, we are from one generation my i and my husband my children from one generation and my uh, Uh, my in-laws and my my mother-in-law and my mother from one gen- generation so it is something you know like i used to give myself certain reasons but now after i got into it everything was is getting into place i find that my family is also helping out on that it's not not only me so once i took a decision i find that everything around me is also in place so that is definitely the volunteering part is something is help me out so thank you so much to all the co explorers because it's your questions and all those things which has helped me to go and explore more thank you one thank you yeah thank you kavita reddy for this uh, commitment part very nice that you have been working in a place where we have a lot of students as well as faculty members where the uh, uh, uhp programs are being conducted a lot of activities are being conducted in the uhp cell mdp uh, and currently the university coordinators uhp2 uh, program and lot of the activities in uh, including this uh, translation work so this will be helpful to uh, the whole uh, uhp family as well as uh, to the large group of students and uh, uh, faculty and staff in your institution and you can become like a node center and you um, are a key person in that for sure with your uh, exemplify sharing it is very much evident and your commitment part is also very much uh, commendable from uh, the side of all of us thank you didi thank you yeah, yeah.